I was the picket line captain for the north entrance to the campus and uh, responsible for making sure that the north entrance was staffed with the appropriate number of picketers. And as to, you know, why that happened, it's a hard question to answer. I think uh, there were some philosophical differences between uh, a number of the faculty and some of the top uh, administrators on the campus. And, you know, I'm not even sure I could describe what they were arguing about or fighting over, but that was a big part of it. It wasn't just money. It was disagreements among people. And it got to the point, and there were enough faculty that were upset by some of the decisions and things that they decided the only thing to do was to go on strike. It was uh, kind of interesting. I mean, I was a young, uh, like I was just out of grad school a few years, and, and uh, they brought in, the, uh, the union brought in, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, individuals that, that uh, spent their time going around from one strike location to another representing the union interests, you know, and they were coaching our guys on how to conduct a strike and, and what to do next. And uh, it was kind of interesting sitting in those meetings and, and uh, discussing that. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a very happy time. I mean, it was very disruptive. But it and, sounds and like it the was, students supported it, is that right? I think they did. Uh, some of them did anyway. Probably the worst thing about it was it was divisive. You know, people took sides. And uh, I remember some of the faculty crossed the picket line and went, went back to work. And they were shunned for years after that. <laughs> <laughs> took a long time for, that, for the campus to get over that. But we did. And how long did the strike last? I want to say like two weeks or something. It was. Were you, were you involved with the ending negotiations or anything? Uh, no, I was kind of a a lower level participant. You know, as picket line captain, I sat in some of the strategy meetings, but not the negotiations. Mm -hmm. And and so, it, but the campus was still divided for a while after that. How did how did that you know come back to a sense of cohesive you know unity working towards one purpose? How, how did that? It just took time. Um, people got over it. Some of the older guys retired. The college, as I said earlier, is becoming more professional all the time. The administration was becoming more professional as well as the faculty and staff. So um, it just became part of our history. You know, it was 